Phillips. Mr. Chairman and distinguished gentlemen, um, thank you for coming today and for your interest in the concerns of Pennsylvania agriculture. Thank you. Uh, my name is Christine Hetz Phillips, and I'm the CEO of Fairview Evergreen Nurseries, a 3,500-acre agricultural operation located near Erie, Pennsylvania. I also serve on the Penn State Erie County Cooperative Extension Board and on the board of the Pennsylvania Landscape and Nursery Association, or the PLNA. PNLA represents predominantly family-owned businesses in Pennsylvania's $5.6 billion landscape nursery and retail garden center industry, known as a green industry. The green, green industry employs over 100,000 Pennsylvanians, is Pennsylvania's largest cash crop and the fastest growing segment of agriculture in Pennsylvania. Nationally, nursery and greenhouse production represents 11% of the commodity agriculture. Our green industry has not played a major role in previous farm bills because we are a non-subsidized component of agriculture. The green industry is not seeking subsidies, but stands in need of research and development funding. Pennsylvania State's College of Agriculture Sciences has provided such research and development supported by Farm Bill grant funding. And PLNA simply asks that this funding continues as a partnership between the college and the green industry has been immensely beneficial to the nurseries and landscape contractors and garden centers of Pennsylvania. With new challenges such as the Asian longhorn beetle, emerald ash borer, and Phytophthora remorum, or sudden oak death, the green industry must be equipped to respond to these diseases or pest crisis. Farm Bill funding can help bridge the widening gap between re um, current resources and these needs. Historically, the Commodity Credit Corporation has been a strong funding source for quarantine and eradication efforts, but this has been scaled back. More funding is needed to ensure the short and long-term safety and stability of our nursery and greenhouse crops. The challenge of invasive species is another area in our industry that suffers for lack of strong scientific research. Research in this relatively new field is desperately needed, but funding is scarce and difficult to find. The 2007 Farm Bill could provide additional grant dollars for the issue of invasive species so the industry can better understand the implications of certain plants in both our landscapes and forest lands. Finally, I want to direct your attention to the most vexing problem in the green industry. Our industry's greatest need is access to sufficient labor. Pennsylvania's own Senator Arlen Specter has helped to author excellent legislation, and the Senate has passed this good bill, which will begin to solve our nation's labor and immigration crisis. I want to thank the senators here today for their hard work to achieve a bipartisan and balanced bill that will achieve a real solution for our farms, communities, and agribusinesses. Thank you. Ms. Phillips, you uh, talk about research, as did uh, some of our other witnesses earlier, and unfortunately we're not likely to have additional funding for any new research programs in the next Farm Bill. But uh, are there any existing programs from a research standpoint that you think we are not fully utilizing or that we are, um, in effect, um, uh, not getting the benefit from that we ought to shift to other areas? I don't know really about shifting any of the uh, resources. I am on the Penn State Cooperative Extension Board. I do know that funding to them overall has dropped 2 percent, I think, every year for the last three or four years. Um, that was one main area where a lot of research was taking place. Um, also, as a new member on the PLNA, I know they look at research, and also as a member on actually the HRI board of the NLA, which does have a trust for uh, research into horticultural concerns. But there's so many invasive, I mean, different invasive plants, invasive bugs, just everything going on. I know the avian flu was talked about. Um, I think our government could do a lot of good by granting money in the form of research with this farm bill. Mm 